Hey guys, it's me Essen today, and today I'll be showing you a tutorial on the player system on how to set up the corrector. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and create a new scene. I've already done that. Then what are you gonna do is you know basically I'm just gonna add some game objects for the floor like a cube. Just reset its coordinates and uh, make it pretty much to be 20 and 20 from there so there you have a cube and uh, we're gonna pretty much set up the things like you know you can um, I'm, I'm, you, you can add your own corrector but I am adding my own you know in this case so we're gonna basically add this there it's a little big for it and you're gonna just go to the physics capsule collider and I'm just gonna go ahead and edit it so that it is better then uh, I'm gonna add the uh, player controller uh, in reality it the two doesn't comes after it uh, just just the updated version for me so you won't find this but still it's the same character controller so you're just gonna add the character controller and you and for this then you'll then um, you're gonna add a physics rigid body component to it and just freeze out all the rotations. Then uh, uh, well, uh, I like to add a directional light in my case. I'm sorry. And add some soft shadows in my case. It's gonna say very high resolution. So as you can see the corrector is pretty much not re not ready but still you can say it is pretty much good now I'm just gonna make it to be zero rotations and everything and I'm gonna make it to minus five then make sure the main camera is parented to the player <coughs> now this is parented I like to add a mouse orbit script you know PS mouse orbit under school whatever you wanna say and just gonna make this to two then comes the player scripting setup so basically you got a script which is the PS movement I'm just gonna add a component say PS movement so where is that PS under school movement I'm just gonna say movement I don't know. It was yeah, it's PS underscore yeah. So this script, we're just gonna assign all these variables for our player. So basically, I'm gonna assign the animator, just dragging it there. Then uh, there's gonna be the look at point, which I'm gonna do by the you know, look at point is just gonna be inside the camera. You're just gonna go and create well, not a cube. Just empty game object, put it inside the main camera, make it to be 10 forward. Just gonna name it to look at. The player is gonna rotate at when he's just, you know, just like that. So then we're gonna add a grounded ray object, which is basically the object from which it will cast a ray cast down the player and check if the player is on floor. If the ray cast it something, then it'll just yeah it'll just do it like he is granted it'll make a variable to true but if it doesn't then it's gonna be falling animation so grounded ray and we're gonna just um, assign him to this grounded ray object okay then comes the wall check wall check is basically another object which is gonna be a little bit uh, you know forward the player which is gonna be like wall check the same but just a little bit forward so like point two and you're just gonna add the wall check then after all this the player mid I'll just get the player mid is the same point just the one coordinate I'll just add this for my player mid the player camera this one and uh, just assign all the variables. You don't need to assign the grab point. So that is it. And you're just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna set it to left foot for these all. These are the 
uh, target handlers which which you can assign for different uh, actions like ledge climbing, wall run and wall fall so and then the layers I will just had the wall climb and ledge the, these both layers are like 30 and 31 you can add any layer it's on your own these are the animation match targeters basically we'll talk them about them in the later upcoming tutorials so yeah that's it thanks for watching guys so let's just give it a try see if it works and uh, I forgot something we're just gonna add uh, this one and I'll just name it to something like that so that is pretty much only the setting up the character for this movement and for the jumping and all those things others like the weapon system and the other thing those tutorials are just coming soon they will be you know talked about in the next upcoming tutorials and um, you know that is all like that so yeah you can still play the animations but um, it's just like that so you can work around with it you can play the animations with it and uh, the animator setup is pretty much like complicated you can just get right on see the weapon layer so it gets the layer goes there when the current weapon is that you know it, d it depends on the current weapon which is basically the weapon system the weapon manager is gonna send the message to the player about that so we'll talk about that in more detail in the upcoming tutorials so yeah thanks for watching guys see you later good luck